Tim, what's on your radar? California Governor Gavin Newsom, Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti, and San Francisco Mayor London Breed were caught with their masks down. The three were at SoFi Stadium watching the NFC Championship game between the L.A. Rams and San Francisco 49ers when Magic Johnson snapped maskless photos and posted them to social media. Immediately, angry Californians, like myself, called out the rules for thee and not for me attitude our political leaders once again have shown. California, the state where the game was played, is currently under a statewide indoor mask mandate until February 15th. Now, granted, from the photos, it's a little tough to determine if some of the shots were taken while outside in the open stadium area or inside the box area looks to be a bit of a mix of both. But the stadium is in Inglewood, an incorporated city in Los Angeles County. And Los Angeles County requires everyone two years of age and older to wear a mask in all indoor settings and outdoor mega events. The football game certainly qualifies as an outdoor mega event. On top of this, SoFi Stadium itself has a mask mandate asking all visitors to wear a mask at all times unless actively eating or drinking. And look at these photos and videos. Celebrities politicians and the wealthy getting together laughing, hugging, shouting, cheering, all without masks and without consequences. Meanwhile, the little people don't even have a choice over what their own children are forced to do. People are rightfully angry. Toddlers are being forced to wear masks in preschools. Kids are being required to wear masks when they play at recess. Yet when these famous adults get together for their playtime, they're exempt. Gavin Newsom responded to this controversy yesterday in a press conference. You're correct. I was very judicious yesterday, uh, very judicious. And you'll see the photo that I did take um, where Magic was kind enough, generous enough to ask me for a photograph. And in my left hand's the mask and I took a photo. Uh, rest of the time I wore it, uh, as we all should. Uh, not when I had a glass of water or thing. And I encourage everybody else to do so. And, uh, and that's it. Extremely judicious, huh? Only took it off to take a picture or take a sip of water, eh? Well, then what's this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not only did he not wear a mask, he lied. Our governor is a liar. It doesn't look like anyone sitting in these fancy box seats was wearing a mask. In fact, lots of people at the stadium weren't wearing masks either, but they aren't the governor who makes rules that force others into mandates. If you're going to make rules, you need to, you need to abide by those rules. And the various politicians here in California don't and haven't. This is reminiscent of the time when Gavin Newsom claimed he was a Zoom school parent, pretending like he understood the challenges parents were facing. Turns out, while he was claiming he was living through the challenges himself, his kids had been back to in-person schooling at their fancy private school five months earlier. And then there was the infamous French, French laundry incident. After telling us California we couldn't mix households, not even for Thanksgiving dinner. Newsom attended a lobbyist birthday party mixing numerous households at one of the most expensive and exclusive restaurants in the country. I mean, look, at this point, public trust is just flying out the window. Why even have these mandates at all if you're not going to follow them? And it isn't just Gavin Newsom, Eric Garcetti, and London Breed who aren't following their own mandates. Look at the stadium. When you look around, hardly anyone was wearing a mask. No one wants to follow these rules anymore. So what's the point? Well, clearly, the point is, this is a political calculation. And the politicians have figured out that they will lose more votes if they drop all mandates than they will if they're caught not following them. And that's what it comes down to, I think, for a lot of these areas. And it kind of goes both ways. I think in the more conservative areas, you've got uh, maybe politicians, governors who maybe wanted to issue some mandates but didn't because they knew they would lose the votes from their constituents and that would cause an uproar. So they just kind of said, okay, we'll just let things be. Um, but, you know, in places that are still where, you know, you go into restaurants and they ask for your vaccine cards, kids are still being asked to wear masks, uh, preschoolers are wearing masks. I mean, this is still going on and on and on. And I think the big question is with the polls that we've seen with Democrats still feeling like, particularly 75% of Democrats feeling like the virus is still this major threat, who knows when they're going to calm down from that? A big question is those of us living in these liberal areas, will these mandates ever end? Even when the science says it's time, or are these politicians just going to keep them going because they know if they lift them, you know, it's a problem. Even if they're caught without them, who cares, right? Like, well, I think making sure that there's a big gap between your your politics and the way you live your life is actually the way that Newsom identifies with his Democratic base. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that, that's like central to what being kind of a suburban Democrat is 
today. So right. he's just saying, hey, look, I'm one of you. I'm one of the people. This just yeah. reminds me of, you know, back when uh, there were, I mean, there's a little bit of it still, I guess, today, but when there was a, a big morality, you know, Christian kind of the Bible Belt area was really running the country. And there was always this hypocrisy where you'd get these like family men, politicians being like, it's all about marriage and children and don't cheat on your wife. And then we have like scandal after scandal after scandal. It's kind of reminiscent of that. Like, I'm going to tell you how to live your life, even though I'm not going to live my life this way at all. I just hope it doesn't last decades like the like that sort of the morality solution to this movement. is to have a government that doesn't tell people how to live their lives. Uh, yeah, right. That's it's exactly the libertarian right. Solution. Everybody live and let live. It's your you know, you do what you want, live according to your rules, live according to your covid precaution level. That's fine with me. I don't care. But don't tell me what I should do. And especially don't tell me what I have to do. And that's, you know, the problem with Newsom and everybody else. And throughout, yeah, to that point, throughout the 90s and the, and the 2000s, as the moral majority was really gaining steam, and as a lot of the people within the moral majority were starting to become exposed as not living by those those particular morals, whether it was infidelity or whether it was being closeted, there developed an ethics in journalism that, that asked the question of, when is it appropriate to, to out somebody? Uh, mm -hmm. And the, the answer that the journalism profession kind of came up with at the time was, does their public position conflict in a, a flagrantly hypocritical way with, right. their, with their private life? And if so, then they are fair game to be outed. Like today, today there's very little outing because the, that war is over. Mm -hmm. It yeah. doesn't matter what somebody's kind of public position on marriage equality is anymore because marriage equality is legal. I don't, I don't care what somebody's opinion is. And if they want to remain uh, closeted, then okay, go ahead and remain closeted because you're not then you know, making it impossible for other people to live uh, dignified lives. Right. And so if there was a Democrat who was closeted, who was supportive of all gay, uh, gay, what were called gay rights at the time, now LGBT rights, uh, then the media would often be like, you know what, there's no conflict between their private life and their public life, so therefore there's no public reason to expose them. But so, Well, right. and Gawker doesn't exist anymore. If and Gawker, Gawker still well, exists, they might have viciously Gawker, outed the person anyway yes. because and, they're... And Gawker was kind of a reaction to that norm. Right. But so, yeah, if, if a bad and libelous reaction, right, to that if, New, if Newsom uh, wasn't supporting mandates, then who cares if he's at the stadium? But you're right. You know, yeah. if, if you're going to back these yeah. policies, you got to either live by them or in, or enjoy getting. Well, and London Breed, when she, when she was in that uh, when she was in that. Uh, right. that concert or whatever it was yes. like a few months ago. She felt the spirit. And, but then she kind of said, she's like, but I'm vaccinated. I don't, I, like, what's, the, I don't really think I should have to wear a mask. And I'm like, I'm losing my mind. I'm like, yes, <laughs> I agree you're right. with you, but it's your rule. The rule is under your orders. Repeal right. it now, then. Now, I give, so I, I gave London Breed a little bit of a pass on this because San Francisco did announce a few days ago prior to all of this that they were dropping a lot of their mandates. And Great. so- They've at least announced that they're moving ahead. And so I was kind of like, well, OK, I'm going to give her even though look like SoFi Stadium has its rules. I mean, look, I know most people that go to these football games. I know I went to some football games recently and I wasn't, you know, I mean, nobody's following these rules when they're there. I, interestingly, when I went to a football game in Idaho, in Boise, Idaho, I went to a Boise State football game, go Broncos. And they uh, they were way more like what the they, they had like security walking around, mm -hmm. making sure everybody was wearing their mask and that was in idaho i then go to a football game to usc football game here in california in la and they didn't care i mean they said huh. wear it but then nobody was wearing it so it was really interesting but you know it is it is very hypocritical when these when these politicians are saying yeah. do this and we're mandating it and then and then there they are uh, there's hobnobbing some, there, around there's some masking developments in dc i might have i might have another radar on this <laughs> for tomorrow ba bowser mayor bowser has you know continued ours to the end of the week Actually, somebody sent me a screenshot of a crossword they were doing a friend of mine and the and the, the question the prompt was uh, bowser's enemy and you're supposed to say mario but robbie <laughs> is the same number of letters so he wrote in robbie <laughs> robbie <laughs> all right well we got to leave it there we'll have more rising right after the this final boss of masks <laughs>